hello guys so welcome to this uh, new video so in this video we're going to look how we can uh, perform a two-way two sample t-test using starter so in this uh, tutorial we're going to use an example of data set that are already installed with starter so let's begin so let's go file and then go down until you see example data sets click and then go to example data sets installed with starter so the the data that we're going to use is this one bp wide bp wide or dta so let's use that one so i'm going to close that window so let's describe this data so that we know what type of variable that is in this data so we have patient sex age group blood pressure before and blood pressure after so we have that information so let's browse our data so that we can see what information we have so we have patient sex is male and female age groups we have it like that and then blood pressure before a certain treatment and blood pressure after so in a two sample t test we are going to compare the if the mean difference uh, between uh, male and female of uh, and uh, their bp before the blood pressure before is equals to zero so the if there is a mean difference of uh, blood pressure between male and female so if it is zero that is what we are going to uh, to prove so how do we do that so let me minimize that one so to, to perform a two-way sample t-test you go to statistics summary tables and then go to classical test of hypothesis and then t-test mean comparison test click that one so we are going to compare a two sample using groups so because our groups is male and female so we want to compare is it the difference between uh, the blood pressure before of male minus the blood pressure before of females is equals to zero is that difference equal to zero we're going to confirm or is it not equal to zero is it this is the difference greater than zero is the difference less than this zero that is what we are going to confirm so the first variable name uh so we have clicked using groups so the variable name is b blood pressure before and uh, our group variable is sex so our degrees of freedom is 95 so remember that we are well, we are checking the mean difference if is equals to zero of their blood pressure before male and female the blood pressure the difference between the blood pressure if it equals to zero or not so let's sub submit so we have here our results so we have 60 males and 50 female uh, the mean of male of their blood pressure before the certain statement is 159 and for that for female is 153 so we have the standard error standard deviation we have 95 and the, the confidence interval uh, we have the combined mean the combined variance and all of those so our t-test here is 2.7 eight this statistics is 2.78 blah 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 so our degrees of freedom is 118 so the difference between the blood pressure before of male and female our high null hypothesis is equals to zero the difference is zero but our alternative hypothesis we have this three so if the difference is great is less than zero if the difference is not equals to zero and if the difference is greater than zero so from these uh, p values only this one and uh, this one are st st statistically significant because they are less than 0 0.05 okay so we can conclude we can say that uh, the difference between the blood pressure before of male and female is not equals to zero because zero point the p value 0 0.006 is less than 0. 0, 0.05 and also we can have it that uh, the difference is greater than zero so the difference uh, the blood pressure of male is uh, minus the blood blood, blood blood pressure of female is greater than zero because the p-value here is p is equals to 0. 
0.0031 which is less than 0.05 so if you have if you are uh, doing a one tail t test you'll use this na alternative hypothesis one tail t test which is the difference is not equal to zero which is correct uh, so in this case we fail to okay we reject the null hypothesis and uh, we have it that the difference uh, is not equal to zero at five percent inter uh, confidence interval but if you are doing a, a two tail t test uh, we'll have it that the difference is greater than zero the difference of uh, blood pressure before of uh, male minus the blood pressure before of female is greater than zero if uh, we are doing a two sample t i mean a two tail t test we'll have it we'll use this uh, alternative hypothesis and con we reject uh, the null hypothesis that the difference is uh, equal to zero and we have it that the difference is greater than zero at uh, five percent confidence interval so to also instead of using the user graphical user interface you can just type the command so you can just type the command so this is the command t test here here is the command so just you can just type that command down here t test uh, blood pressure before by sex so if you click enter you get the same results the difference is equals to zero the difference is not equal to zero the difference is greater so you should know when to use a uh, one tail t test and two tail t test there's a video in this my youtube channel explaining when to use a one tail t test and a two tail t test so here we have all the test statistics that you need to know and everything so that is how we uh, we, uh, we we conduct a two tail t test and uh, sorry we conduct a two sample t test using starter so if you found this video useful kindly click the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this thank you adios